Well, here's the deal with the nation of Israel. There's a scene in Joshua 24. You don't have to turn there, but basically Joshua's in, in the near the, uh, nearing the end of his life. And um, he gathers the people together to himself, and he starts talking to them, and he's basically exhorting them, continue in your faith. And, and so as he's talking to them, here's what he says. He says, if it seems evil to you to serve the Lord, choose for yourselves this day whom you will serve, whether the gods which your father served that were on the other side of the river or the gods of the Amorites in whose land you dwell, but as for me and my house, we will serve the Lord. In other words, he's telling them, look, you can, you can serve God, you can serve all kinds of false gods, you can serve whatever floats your boat, I'm going to serve God. And what ends up happening is that, uh, indeed, the nation of Israel, for a short period of time, does serve the Lord. They do follow the Lord. They do make the decisions to obey God. And so what happens there is that under the reign and rule of, of, of Joshua and then the elders who, who uh, outlived him, well, the nation of Israel obeyed God. But then what happened was you got into a, 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 just an ongoing a series of events in Israel's history where they vacillated between obedience and disobedience. And so they would follow this repetitive cycle. And, and it's familiar to us because we have a tendency to follow this cycle. And the cycle was this. They would sin. They would experience the judgment of God. They would repent. God would bless them. Then they would sin. And then they would experience the judgment of God. And then they would repent. And then God would bless them. And so it just went, it was like, you know, this merry-go-round that they were on. And the book of Judges records this about this season of time. As a matter of fact, this is the last verse in the book of Judges. And here's what it says. In those days, there was no king in Israel. Everyone did what was right in his own eyes. Does that sound familiar? It totally describes the days in which we live. 